Tai Chi is actually the yin yang concept. In Tai Chi Chuan, we want yin yang to be constant and in balance. On the practical side, that means that we cultivate the yin, we cultivate release. From this deep yin emerges a special kind of power. This inner power comes from the softness, comes from the release. It's in our DNA to respond with fight or flight. So the fight or flight response is like yin or yang in how we respond to stress. This gets bound up in our body, it's active in our mind, in our emotions, it's part of who we are. Most training increases that fight or flight response. Tai Chi Chuan is designed to undo that response. We train ourselves to react in harmony. We want to harmonize the mind with the body. When you're training solo exercises, you're training how to harmonize mind and body so that your body is under the command of the mind. Partner exercises, when you touch another person, you see the tension inside your partner, the way their body is bound up, the way their mind is bound up, and it makes them stiff like one piece. So to you, they feel like a piece of furniture or a piece of wood. This allows you to easily manipulate them to control the center of gravity or to throw them out. You are free and they are bound up. I think the most important point is, is to have sincerity towards the art. If people are doing it properly, training correctly and sincerely, then it's a formidable art and it's a thing of beauty in and of itself.